Hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! And I am Zookeeper Siri, here at the Red Wolf exhibit in our zoo in Zoodessia! Oh, it's so good to see these guys! Maple, Summer, Spruce, you guys are super active today! Hi everybody! You know you guys are old enough to start leaving home. We're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to take you from your exhibit to a wild, wild world, where our Red Wolves will be able to live out their best life in the Redwood Redwood Wolf National Park that we are currently building for them. So we're working on our Redwood Red Wolf National Park event right now and I thought it'd be really fun to come and check in on the wolves today to see what they actually needed because although many of you happen to know quite a bit about gray wolves, the prey, the habitats that they normally have, red wolves are a little bit different because they are actually smaller than the gray wolf that so many of us are familiar with. So I thought it would be a really fun thing to kind of come and see how they're doing, check in on all of the puppies that we will be releasing as dispersal wolves into their own territory, and to maybe just get like a little bit of zookeeper experience and maybe a nice little coffee and a cookie from our beautiful Wisteria Cafe before we start working on our gigantic list, which I should probably rename. I love how I just continue to have like these endless projects and I just write like, you know, page after page. Do you guys do that with your to-do notes? Because I know that I always do that with my to-do notes. I'll do as much as I can. And then the next thing you know, I'm going, when did I clean corruption? I don't remember when, oh, that was in my basement. When I kind of had that portal to the nether in my basement. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that that's been cleaned up. My goodness. It has been very, very busy. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah, I do have a, quite a bit going on actually. Holy cow. Well, all of that's gonna have to wait and so is all of this and so is all of this and here we are. So this is the to-do list for gathering things while we're back here at the zoo. Oh, thank you. Thank you very, very much, Summer, for reminding me that one of the important things is to scoop the poop of the exhibits. That is kind of hilarious. Ah, but yes, so we're gonna be- oh, I'm just standing here with some poop in my hand. Mm -hmm. That's when you know that you're back to being a zookeeper. But we are going to be popping over to the wild area and really rebuilding the archaeology- the archaeology abandoned- what do you call that place? Like archaeology building? Archaeology research center. There we go. That has been abandoned. But yeah, I just, I, you know, I realized a lot of you guys probably don't know all of our red wolves. And now that uh, their mama is actually expecting another litter and she doesn't really want one, like red wolf pups this old with their first litter around, we should go ahead and introduce ourselves. Oh, thank you, Maple. It wouldn't be a day at the zoo without scooping poop. I'm telling you. All right, let's go ahead and head on in. There are actually some tasks that we can do. Ah, it's been a while since I've rolled up my sleeves as a zookeeper at the zoo, actually. But there are some tasks we can do to take care of everybody. Oh, Spruce! Hey! He's climbing up around the waterfall. That's pretty good. Maple, how you doing? Thankfully, these red wolves will uh, hopefully adapt without humans around. They are a little bit too used to our presence, but I'm sure they will- Hello, Spruce. I'm sure they will regain their wildness with no trouble. And this is actually one of the entrances to their den. So they have multiple den entrances. Let's just sneak down in here. We gave them a little window to look at the water because I thought that that would be quite scenic. It's very lovely, very lovely. Ooh, we could put a mushroom here. Do I have a mushroom in my pockets? I do not. I actually like cleaned my pockets out so that we'll be ready to stuff them full of things to work on our wild park. And there we go. There's Meadow. Hey girl. I'm so excited to hear your... Meadow! <laughs> what? Why do I have two Meadows? Redwood! How did you end up with two mates? And they're identical. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, does that mean I get a lot of red wolf puppies? Does that mean they're both pregnant? Okay guys, for those of you who don't know, we tend to have a cloning glitch uh, that has, uh, maybe it's me. 
You know, we've gone across three worlds now. We've been at this world the longest for several years, but maybe, maybe the common factor is me. Am I causing the cloning? Is there some sort of like, I don't know, dust on my fingers that just is like, here forth, we shall simply clone all the animals. I mean, the very first episode we ever had of Zoo Crafting, Lily cloned herself in a glitch, and that's how we got her brother Tate. Don't ask me how the cloning changed. Also, magical Siri powers, I suppose. <clears throat> but then the puppies cloned themselves as we discussed on our international dog day last week and now we have another cloning event there's just cloning everywhere all the time in the zoo i mean i guess that's a good thing somebody should hand me a panda maybe if i snuggle a panda we'll just have an endless like panda cloning line which i guess actually wouldn't help the genetic diversity of pandas but still <laughs> okay um no wonder they want their first litter gone if both of them are here and we have a very very rare exception of the usual breeding pair of wolves we'll create and instead we have um we have two females and redwood i guess that is that going to be a lot of red wolf puppies i'm a little concerned about this i'm gonna have to discuss that with like the zookeepers and the the vet uh redwood what have you done what have you done, Redwood? Oh, and there's some mushrooms. Oh, a mushroom on a mushroom. I love when the appetites do that. Here, let's actually pick this bundle of a um, little mushroom garden. And hello, Meadow. To soothe myself, I'm going to go ahead and plant some mushrooms over here, Meadow. Don't you worry about it. There we go. Now we have some mushrooms planted. But okay, this is a discussion to have with my vets. I suspect it means double the puppy fine, which means we really need to work on expanding our Redwood Red Wolf National Forest, uh, or else I'm gonna run out of room for my Redwoods, which are remember at wolves. Oh, I knew doing that tongue twister was going to catch me, but hey, that's a good thing. Red wolves are critically endangered. There are less than a few hundred of them left in the world, and all of them are in captivity. And I could go on and on and on about that, but I guess since we're here, Meadow, Meadow, uh, do you girls need anything? Let's go ahead and see what we can do for them. So for our red wolves, the ways that we can take care of them when we are being zookeepers is we can go ahead and give them a raw rabbit, raw chicken. We can make pork sausage that's full of all sorts of special nutrients for them. They like bones to chew on. Giving them a bath is a really good thing to do. We can get training treats, vitamin mix, uh, wild mint, lemon scent, health syringe so we can give them like a little checkup. Uh, I need to get a few of these things from one of the zookeepers so we can get like empty syringes or we could get like empty buckets to be able to really bathe them. If we bring them ice, uh, leather, pumpkin, or slime balls and chocobo feathers, it actually makes really good enrichment for them. And if I had remembered that, sunflower? Do you want to donate some feathers, Sunflower, like you always are? Uh, but that is how we can take care of our red wolves. And I think we should bring some food to the meadows. Um, gosh, we're going to have a lot of puppies in the meadow. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hey, Fur. Oh, thank you, Fur, for reminding me to scoop the poop. Maybe I can actually collect up the poop to prove that we've been scooping it and trade it. We should set up a trade with one of my zookeepers. Poop for buckets, and then I can fill the buckets with soapy water. Oh, hello! Oh my goodness, it's a bouncing egg! A little bouncing duck egg, hello ma'am! Are you hanging out in my in my white-tailed deer exhibit? Oh gosh, look how pretty our exhibit is. I love when we hang out at the finished sections of the zoo, because it's always so pretty. Ma'am, do you have a, a little chick-chick? Do you have a name? Keep her eating, you haven't named this duck yet. Any chick-chick? Oh, no chick-chick, I'm sorry ma'am. Oh. There's another duck! Oh, and there's a Gouldian, or not a Gouldian finch, a goldfinch! Ah! Uh, oh, <laughs> and Keeper Aiden's talking about the glowing tree stumps, which actually we could trade to her for. Wow. Yeah, this is what we need to get going in our whole zoo and over in our national park. Hey, Sunflower! Any feathers to donate? Mm, there you go. Little kiss on the beak. Because it's so rewarding when our whole zoo is just complete and we can go around and take care of the animals. Ooh, look at that beautiful, beautiful plant. Oh, I love those orchids. One day we should go visit a swamp and see if we can find just a ton of those orchids. Oh, look, it's my little dart frog friend. I forgot how he lives in my compost heap. That's really nice. And this is my temperate forest zookeeper station, which I'm actually quite proud about. Uh, oops, let me clear the vines out of the way. You can tell I haven't been here in a while. 
But this was tripped out by the Builders of Light when they came to kind of do like the zoo renovation project. It's kind of like flip my zoo uh, that they came to do. But I think I actually have, let's see, can I get into this? Okay, so you can pull bones out of this like so. Interesting, I have 14 bones. How do I put them back in like that? Okay, and then we also have some leather. I guess I can get a little bit of leather for the girls to chew on. So I do have some things stored in here for them. Some bones for them to chew on. Um, let's see, chocobo feathers. What else do I have in here? Nothing in the crates. Oh, a bunch of seeds in the crates. Good, good, good. Some books and quills. Oh, they left me some empty books and quills? Jeez, like we did really fancy things when it was like flip my zoo time. And that's not happening anymore, but that was really, that was a cool, cool thing that they helped me with back when we did that. Uh, let's see, cutting board. Oh, here we go, a bunch of raw rabbit for them to eat. Uh, but we do actually have a spot where we can collect that food. Ouch, I'm sorry. I touched, I touched the dart frog. I didn't mean to, buddy. There's no need, I feel like I walked out and maybe he was like Bruh! with his little tongue. He got me with some of his stuff. But we do have a little spot over here, a little wild spot that we allow the, the passage of, of time and we allow the cycle of life to happen and we can collect some meat from here. A little animal trap. Ah, it is it is a little sad, but it is also important because we do have carnivores in this zoo. I am beginning to think we should probably relocate our animal traps. I think I only have one over here now. <gasps> little duck, be careful. Do you wanna go in the exhibit? Actually, you can go live with our, our deer if you want. That's kind of adorable. There you go. I, I Like, don't regret your choice now. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be very happy there. Oh, I forgot how I really blocked this area off. Wow. Good job, Siri. I forgot when we redid that. Uh, oh, and this animal trap is empty, so we might want to fill that up. Because it is important to make sure that our red wolves have plenty, and spices are one of the ways we can help them out. Have plenty of food. Do I have some shears somewhere? I do. And this is how we feed our red wolves. In the future, I kind of think we should move the animal trap a little further, like into the, maybe the wilderness even. I don't want to take from like a national park, but I don't know, we'll think about that. Maybe we can, we can pretend the zookeepers kind of help deliver things there. But all right, let's see. Let's make some more animal bait really quickly. As sad as that is, I know it's very sad. Very, very, very sad. We've got a bunch, oh, hello, Duck Ducks. Are you guys enjoying eating all of my really precious, wonderful um, fruit, hmm? There we go. And we'll actually put some fruit bait together right now. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be very hard. So fruit, fruit bait. So all we need is string and then different types of fruit. So we have a, a bunch of Spanish moss that we can actually turn into string like so. That's why we grow the Spanish moss there. And then we can go ahead and come over and grab the various fruits. And what? What? That should have turned it. Oh, okay. Maybe it's because I'm using a cutting board. That's probably why. <laughs> oh, where do I not have just a normal? There we go. A little crafting table over here. Crafting station. Crafting station. Let's go ahead. Fruit bait. There we go. And we'll just make a bunch of it really quickly. There. All right. And wait, can I get fruit bait from spice leaves? I don't think I can. No, I can't. The spice leaves are for a different project. They're actually so that you can make the pork. Can I make that really quickly? The pork sausage for the girls. Salt and let's see. So we would need the raw pork. We'd need a cutting board. We would need spices and we would need salt. Do I have any salt over here? How do I get salt? Jeez, see, this is this is the interesting parts of taking care of our animals. A pot of water, or some water and a pot. Do I have a pot over here? I don't think my kitchen is stocked with like utensils, unfortunately. But I really, you know what? I wanna take care of our, our wolves. We have like two pregnant female wolves, which is definitely up from the number I thought we had. So let's go ahead and make a pot really quickly. And I want to make sure they're well fed. Let's see. So we need a stick and I'll be able to make one pot. That's all I need. 
That's a good thing. All right, give me a stick. And let's grab a stick really quickly. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and forge ourselves up a fresh pot. Yes. And then I saw that we have a ton of water actually already set to the side from the Builders of Light. So is this all water? Nice. There we go. And now we can go ahead, take the pot, mix it with water. Wonderful. Look at that. And we've got what we need. Okay, wash the pot off in the sink and I guess I kind of like shelves so I can see things versus these cabinets uh, so we might replace these cabinets with shelves because that would make it a lot easier to see can I cook on this <gasps> whoa you can cook on the oven I didn't know that all right now to the cutting board we have the raw pork chops we have the salt we have the spice leaves hmm do we need to put the cutting board in a different arrangement let's see and pork for our red wolves we're gonna make cutting board does it need to be oh it needs to be a cooked pork chop not a raw pork chop oh this is so fun it has been so long since i've been in here i'm just dashing about in circles we do have some of the rubber right over here and this raw rubber can actually be used to fuel things it goes through really quickly though yeah, I'm gonna need more more rubber. That's why the rubber trees are so useful. Look at that, we can just stick the whole stack in here. The rubber trees make for a really great renewable resource of energy, but they do go through that energy very quickly. Hmm, maybe I should plant a rubber tree exhibit and kind of like highlight that. All right, is this gonna be good? Do I need to arrange it? Okay, maybe the cutting board needs to be like in my hands. Is that gonna help me with the pork sausage? All right, I definitely saw cooked pork chop. Okay, maybe I need to hold the cutting board. Let's try that. All right, cutting board, cooked pork chop, salt, spice leaf. <gasps> da da! I needed to be holding it, but we did it. Okay, do we? Oh nope, I just threw everything on the ground. <laughs> I think we can make two more because I I have two more things of salt. So the girls are gonna definitely have. We'll we'll definitely imagine. You know, of course. Uh, pardon me. And like da -da 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 -da, just filling this up with uh, vitamins and things from uh, from here. Of course, of course. Absolutely not just feeding my wolves random things just because it sounds fun. Uh, we're definitely filling up these little pork sausages with very important vitamins for our pregnant wolves. That is the way we do things around here. There we go. All right, so now that's done. Put my cutting board away. There we go. Uh, do I have anything? Oh, like, wow. Let's stick the raw mutton, the egg, um, the blackberry, actually. I do kind of like having a fridge. I don't use fridges very often. Maybe I should change that. Uh, oh, and the string can actually go away. I forgot we had string here. Jeez, actually having people who, like, organize things. <laughs> Sort of throws me off and the spice leaves. They're beautiful leaves. They can decorate the corner. All right That seems pretty good. I feel I feel pretty happy now. We helped a duck get into our exhibit I got to visit with uh, some of the places that the red wolves are from Hello, sir. Are you are you seeing the red wolves? Oh, and that's actually one of the things I was going to say the ducks would want to be careful because although you guys might think that the red wolves would have the same diet as the gray wolves and eat big things like a buffalo or like um like chasing down the elk actually red wolves because they are so much smaller and they live in a different habitat with different prey items tend to eat smaller prey so they are not really usually even going after deer though that happens on occasion they're going after things like raccoons rabbits especially they really eat smaller smaller prey items they're not like chasing down the big elk the way that you see with the gray wolves hunting all right and here are our pregnant wolves i can't believe we have two of them now Let's go ahead and get some zookeeper experience by giving Meadow number one her pork sausage filled with vitamins and lots of hearty raw chicken so that she has some good food to eat. We even have like three lovely leathers that she can chew on. We have some bones that she can chew on. Uh, and then let's go ahead and take care of Meadow number two who also gets that pork sausage. And then we'll go ahead and let her chew on some leather too as an enrichment item and some bones and some chicken 
Huzzah! So they have been taken care of. Oh, that's so fun. Let's see if we can find all of their pups real quick. Redwood is the mate, the male. Red Meadow is the female of our breeding a pair of red wolves. Redwood is the male. Then we have one for fur, which is one of their pups. Two, three, summer maple. And then we have, I think, three more wolves who are a little bit more reclusive. We saw spruce a bit ago, so that was four. All right. So spruce, this place has gotten a little bit overgrown. I need to come in and clear some things out. Spruce, summer, maple, I think he was in the den. Maybe we had four? Meadow. Yeah, we have six red wolves. They're just a little tricky to find sometimes. Oh, 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 that's why. <laughs> All right, there's spruce, so that's four, and I'm sure if I look up in the trees, I may even find... Let's come over here, yeah. Can I see the others? Hmm. You know, we really probably should kind of ease up some of the tree cover. Hello, meadow number two, or one, whoever you are. We should probably ease up some of the tree cover so that we can see our red wolves a little easier just to make sure they're all okay. But, I mean, we've got kind of a clone right now and more puppies on the way, so I'm sure it will be fine. Also, that's so cute. Look at those flowers that you can see from this. Oh, what a great observatory looking over the red wolves. But all right, so guys, we have taken care of the red wolves. Oh, let's wrap up the last couple things we have to do. Let's trade to keep her Adelaide, since we are here, some of the shiny logs for the zookeeper points that we just earned. And that's actually going to really help us when it comes to lighting up the park. And I wish I had a moment to help you keep her Adelaide, but we have some work to do for our wolves over in a whole other section of the world. And then finally, let's put the fruit bait away, and that will actually help. Let's wiggle this way. That will actually help catch more prey items for our zoo animals in the future. Phew, but okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the future red wolf puppies that we are going to be having. And then next time we are going to hop on to Sunflower, head back over to the house, stuff our pockets full of building material, and get ready to really work on expanding the Redwood Red Wolf National Park so that we can expand this wonderful little family. If you'd like to join us on that adventure, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.